I'd like to welcome you to the pod. Uh, Board and scale. Podcast. We're kind of odd. Just kidding. It's just me mostly. Welcome to Board and Scale Podcast. <laughs> You're channeling your I need a nighttime story dad <laughs> mode right now. <laughs> I am. <laughs> welcome to the Board and Scale Podcast, episode number something. Oh. X. And X equals whatever the next number is. <laughs> I think we're at like 19 now. No. <laughs> oh. It's like 13 <laughs> like, or something. Is it? Hmm. You, you're probably mixed up. I thought I saw 18. Spicy book nook. Anyways. Mm. Mm. Anyways, we've got some interesting topics today. Well, that's the wrong app. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, that Kevin is really excited to talk about. And so the first one we're going to do is our personal rating system for games and in the hobby in general, really. Do you this is going to feed into really... This is going to feed really well into all of our Battle of the Games videos. This thing's got some good feet. Just to kind of understand where we're getting our ratings from. All right. You want to go ahead and go first? Yeah, I can. So I'm... A lot of times when you hear of a rating and you hear five, you think, oh, that's horrible. I never want to play that game. And I don't think that that's fair because five is very in the middle. It's not a bad game and it's not a good game. But why does five seem so bad to everybody else? Like literally one through ten, and it is in the middle. Why is that bad? I think I'm six. with you. Nah, I think six. Why? I think six is like plus. It's the smallest plus it can be, but it's a plus. I'm but with a you. Five I think is five is a bad game. No. I think five is. I do not care about it. I do not think about that game. I have no opinion about it. I don't care. Why? I'm exactly. very much so. Like if you're, if I'm gonna give a game a ten, that's gonna be the best game I've ever played in my life. Like, it, I think that there should be less tens. And more fives, fours, and sixes. Just saying. Just saying. You're That's the um, you're the you're the you're the school that uh, is tired of grade inflation. So you grade yeah. all of your students exceptionally hard, and they Why? get out into the world A negative bill curve. and then they fail miserably because they can't get into a decent college because they've got. C's and everyone's like, well, but C's are average. <laughs> no, I'm grading them as they should be graded, not in an inflated way. Yep. Everybody else is wrong, not me. Yep. <laughs> All right. Um, Dwayne? I also think that a five is, it's whatever. I like, cool. That was a game. Awesome. One, I'm throwing the game in the trash. <laughs> well, here's, here's one, the one. I'm throwing it in the trash, never playing it again. Five, it was a it was a game. We played it. Cool. If we never play it again, fine with that. Ten. Oh my god. I I am either buying that game or I'm looking to buy that game that day. I am. It's going on its own little shelf spot. <laughs> it's got a shrine. It's got a shrine. That would be a 10. So it's like, for me, it is also very, one is bad, five is okay, 10 is greatness. You play a game for the first time, <clears throat> in your head it's a five, are you selling it? You own it? Mm -mm. No. Second time, doesn't change, you're yes. selling it? I think, mm. I think, I think three I think I'll give. I would give it three at least. You would give it three attempts at five if it doesn't get better. Yeah, we're I think also, I would do three to five. We're also talking times. about a man who's got almost five hundred games That's in his true. collection. So <laughs> I guess it would take a lot the, for you, huh? Yeah. Well, <laughs> how many of the games in your collection do you think are below a five in your own rating? Uh, yeah, not based on any outside rating, just your own opinion. Swag man percentage. Under five or at five? Under five. Five or under. So that includes fives. Yeah. Honestly, I don't think that many. Really? Yeah. Okay. I, and there's like, I don't think 20 games, maybe, if that, that I haven't played. So this is Dwayne's love letter to board games. <laughs> um, and, I mean, are there games that I probably need to get rid of? 
Yes. That they're just never going to see daylight again. <laughs> more, more, more than most likely. Um, but I also have them in spots that I can see them. So it's not like some games are just like shoved somewhere where it's like, it's going to get passed up if I'm looking for something to play. They're all in a space where I can see them. You mean you don't have a storage unit? I do. I have two shelves, but what? I'm What? You have a storage unit? Oh, oh, like a... No, I no. mean like an actual no, storage no, no, no. unit where you put games in. There are people that do that, that have a ton of games that just store them in a storage unit. No, I don't. Oh, you mean like an off-site yes. storage yes. unit? No, I don't. I have two shelves, and then everything else that can't fit is just on the floor next to the shelf. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't have any like pets or anything or or children that will Ugh, mess with the games, kids. so I'm fine with that. <laughs> are your, are your kids allowed like kids. up here? There, yeah. that's why there's some time to. Think. I know it was a gate, but like <laughs> supervised. I guess there was. They I've used seen, to. I've actually they physically to, seen them up here, so I guess I know that's true. Yeah, we bring them up when we're like cleaning up here and stuff. Now there's really nothing for them to do up here, so mm. yeah, yeah, no more TV, no more anyway. casting couch. Anyway, okay. <sighs> really, Kev? Uh, Why would you say that in the same realm as our kids? Huh? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> you took it there. <laughs> you, you took, it, took there. it there. Nope, Get you made the here. connection. Right. Nope. So Get I think a, I think a seven and above <laughs> is a pretty good game, Kevin. <laughs> Uh, how do you use the rating system? Uh, I treat ratings like uh, like grades, like uh, straight grades. So you know, ninety percent is an A minus to like ninety three is a ninety three and above is an A. Like a ninety eight to a hundred is a is an A plus. Um, so I mean, at the end of the day, I don't disagree with the idea that there there. I mean, there are no tens, right? I don't oh. think there are really any. Like I, I take that. I mean, I'm sure there are because a 10 for me is a game that has that I play and I have no critiques and you all know me. I'm a pretty critical person. No, no. Yeah. So if I can play a game and walk away from it, you know, going, I have literally nothing to complain about this game. I have no observation about how this mechanism works or how I like, or, or I mean, I don't like something about it or whatever. Uh, then it would be a perfect 10. But I've never come across anything like that. There's always at least some aspect where I'm like, mm, you know, this could be improved. Um, so, and then straight down the line. And and for me, anything less than a C, right? Anything less than a 70%, which is a seven, right? I'm probably not all that interested in playing. But my seven is different than your seven. It is. Yeah. Well, that's, right? the, that's the whole point of this discussion uh okay after this i have a question keep going so <laughs> i'm a little i'm a little less harsh about it but i kind of agree with the like kind of like grades but to me it's like a six is the bottom of like this is a like someone enjoys this game right i can enjoy this game seven i like it eight eight and a half pushing it or like these i like really like these games you know, I think about them from time to time. I would love to play them when people offer, right? When people want to play. To get to like nine, nine and a half, ten, it's like really hard to get, you know, to get that for me. But I think I'm pretty um, easy in the in the first part of that scale. So I'll give most stuff at least a six if I like didn't absolutely hate the game. Hmm. Um, and I'll probably play a six. Like, if someone else brings a six to play, I'll play it and then never ask <coughs> to see it again. <laughs> a six? That's fair. Yeah. That's insane to me. Yeah. I'm, Why I'm would you write something you. a six? That is kind of wild. That you wouldn't pick up a I play? think because it's just above the middle. So to me, in the scale of opinion where above half, that's positive, below half, negative. So we obviously see So you're the never going to give a five. I would give a five. <laughs> yeah. I think me and Kenzie are on the Probably. same boat, and you and Kevin. I feel are like on in that in that aspect one. of grading, your six would be my four. If I give something a four, it's that's like bottom half. I might tell you no if you ask me to play it. 
I think I also will give stuff five where I I feel like there was like heart put into the game. If it's a bad game, but you can tell like <laughs> they just made a game they wanted to make. I don't know. Kind of and kind of endears me a little bit to it. You know. Okay. I mean, let okay. I me mean, say so like if it was a six, somebody wanted to play it, I'd play it. I probably wouldn't complain. Um, especially if they're my friends, right? And it's a game that you're interested in. I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll play it. Mess man. <laughs> yeah, Muffin Time. Muffin no, Muffin time. time is a five or below for me. <laughs> That's uh, it's a five game. Five below? Yeah, I mean. Sponsor? The, <laughs> uh, below a six is where you're starting to get into that space where it's, I am actively going to campaign against playing this game. It where I'm going to me. let you know that I am disinterested in playing this game, Muffin Time. Um, if I never saw it again, I would be happy muffin time. Um, <laughs> but because I love you guys, <laughs> if you really, really wanted to play it, muffin time. I it was in the right mood and I was, was properly Not plied with alcohol time. and there was nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like all the other board games are for some reason on fire. <laughs> we can play it. Right. Okay. Question. Do you have a 10 game? Yeah. Dominant species. Okay. There's no, no nothing you would change about the game. Literally nothing. Okay. I cool. wish I could play it longer every time we play. What about a one? What What do you mean? Absolute one. Like do I have a, a game one? that is a, a, a total one. I don't think I have a one. I think the lowest I have is like a three. Okay. So on that. Because I used to go through BGG and rate stuff. Okay. I'm going to mm-hmm. finish my first thought first. Kevin, you have a 10? You already um, kind of said you didn't. But. No, I don't think so. And it's int- So, you know, Scythe is my number one game. I also haven't been able to play all of the content. So like some of the things that I'm like, well, maybe I could stick as a fixed board, right? Fixed starting positions. So there's already a problem. It's a little at, bit predictable. Right. With also with certain, because all the races are, are assigned a spot at the beginning. Can't you switch that though? With the modular board. Okay. We have that. Right. So if you don't play with the modular board, then you can't, right? But now they've, I mean, you, you fixed it, mm-hmm. right? And I have not actually played with my modular board. Um, so I don't know how much that does it make it that much better. I don't know if we've solved that particular problem. Okay. I also don't know so, if it was ever quote unquote fixed, but apparently the red faction, mm-hmm. they the are OP is statistically fixed. overpowered. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The ability to spam a, uh, a, an, a, an action yeah, just is insane. Nigh unbeatable. Okay. I what didn't know that when I was unconsciously just one? picking the red character all the time. Mm, yeah. Weird. And I a wonder one? why you won all the time. <laughs> like <laughs> shoots and ladders. Okay. So like basic. Oh, yeah. I mean, in games that don't, sure. I mean, there's nothing to them. There's no thought, right? You just I, spin the thing and you do it. I also would never ever like play that with the intention of like, oh, let me see if I like this game. Like I know what that game is and I'm not going to go and rate like I'm not gonna waste the time to go to BGG, <laughs> look for a kids game, and rate it a one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Kevin, That's fair. please go put in a review for Shoots and Ladders. Yeah, yeah. please. Yeah, I'm uh, 55 and I hate this game. I would comment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, well, it's funny though so because quickly. like playing with my nibblings, I do interact with those games sometimes. So like, uh, I think it was last <laughs> time I was home or the time before that uh, we played this like Jurassic Park game. It was a spinner game. And you just spin and you move that number of spaces. But the opposite of shoots and ladders or you're incentivized to go quicker. Uh, like you could get like a first player bonus if you finished. But if you go slower, you have the possibility of hitting more victory points. But it's a spinner game. So you literally have no real decision space whatsoever. Um, so you spin and do farted. what it tells you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good farting, dog. Stinky boy. Do you have a time? on the clock tower. No, oh, okay. Is there anything you would change about That's that That's persona-based, game? though. You mm-hmm. have to have the right people to play that game. If you have the wrong people... No, he has different groups of people every single week and <laughs> loves it. That's true. <laughs> anyway... I, I don't think a 10 okay. is also like, would you change something about, about it? That was my thing, right? Because that was me saying like a 10 is a... Like if I'm giving up a, a, somebody's grading a paper and I give it 100%, I'm saying there is nothing I found on here that needs to be changed. That's kind of why I was asking that question. Yeah. Anyway. Do you have a 10? I'm going to get there. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. 
Uh, not too excited. I mean, obviously, nothing that's like not what Kevin said. Those realms of games, the little fucking Hasbro, Hasbro games. Um, but also, Often time. as many times as I've <laughs> said it, I am not a hard person to please whatsoever. I will literally play anything. It's true. And no matter how it plays, no matter what it looks like, I will play it. And you know what? I'm most likely going to like it. <laughs> not a so hard person. So if you're giving please. something like a six and below, it was bad. No. Like if you're giving it below a seven, it was bad. If I'm giving it below a five, it was bad. Mm-hmm. Um, Name so, a game like, in the last five months that you played that was a five or below, or below a five. I can tell you one. Evacuation. Oh, my God. That's No, you played it maybe twice. Three and times. you didn't play it the way it was meant to be you played. played it three times. No. Twice. I'm surprised by that. I don't think so. I was so excited. I think it was partly because I was so down. excited for that game, and I was massively let down. Yeah. Also, I th- I think it's it, also very much a, a me thing too. Like I don't care what the game is. I don't. I don't care. I don't care about how it played. Does it make sense? Yeah. Is it like if I had fun, and if the game works, I like it. Like, I don't care if I, I don't care about like anything else. I had fun playing the game. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to give it the rating that I think. You do have like a default plus one though. If it's an animal game. Yes. It's <laughs> <laughs> like a, the default plus one there. <laughs> Stop it. boy. Okay. My turn. He's crying. Yeah. Castles of Burgundy. Perfect 10. 10. That is a perfect 10 for me. Uh, Even without I the acrylic like... tiles. <laughs> Kevin, fuck off. <laughs> This is like the sixth video you. in a row that those have been mentioned. Uh. That It's just a game that has been around for a long time. And the things that needed to be fixed, I felt like they were fixed. And they've added so much to the game that you can pick and choose what you want to play with. And it just makes it like more fun. The latest one, you guys haven't played this with us yet. Um, but the Vineyards expansion, just phenomenal. Just a great add to an already great game. And like... So you have other different ways to score um, different things that you can add in. And there's still more that we haven't done. So, like, that's just a game that if I don't like a module, I don't have to play that module. But it's still a great game. The base game, without anything to it, is just a phenomenal game. So that is definitely my 10. Phenomenal. So, now to my one. Easy for me, Monopoly. But that, like... Everybody. That's also based on like this individual plays. Mm-hmm. But question. This might f- spark other things. A rule book and the way that it is laid out, will that affect the way you rate a game? If you can't effectively get the game to the table and understand what's going on and everything is just confusing, does that affect the rating for the never. game? Me understanding the rule book and like how much I struggled to learn it has never ever come up in my head. When, when just like thinking of a rating of a game. Okay, Paris New Eden. That game was horrible. Why? Because we didn't know what to do. Why? Because <laughs> <laughs> the rules didn't explain it very well. Because the rules were too That's... ambiguous. But that wasn't us like, I don't know. It was more like there was just, it felt like a lot of things were wrong and not like, oh, I'm having trouble understanding. Like Kanban, we struggled to understand. I will caveat like, that game, that with, that game was translated from a different, language i think it was like a weird direct translation that did not but it's a game that we played tried to play one time super confusing rule book wasn't helping there was nothing online sold it immediately yeah. actually i think we returned it i would rate it that's a how one bad out of spite. it was you know whether or not we played the so, game right or wrong i that was why i was asking it was more of like when things like that happen how does it make how do you yeah absolutely so um, masked men for you Mask he taught men. you without having known the rules the very first time, and it was confusing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's still not abundantly clear how the game is supposed <laughs> to be played. Like, there are multiple <laughs> scenarios that come up where you're like, hey, I think it's supposed to be like this, but I'm not actually sure. No, no yeah. anymore. I've played it, I've played it, yeah. we've played it plenty of times now, dude. That's such an easy game to yeah. play. Um, but like a, a good example would be um, Mythic Games Reich Busters. Uh, which was a it's a, a mythic it's games a thing. Yeah, 
It's a co-op um, World Elder. War II style. Um, Four for Sebastian already. Yeah, um, your you know miniature based game where you're running around trying to be super sneaky and kill Nazis. Minis are a plus one though. Go the minis go. are really good I looking. Love minis. Um, so that's definitely a bonus. But um, I remember playing it with my buddy Mike uh, a couple years ago. Jones, and it, baby, no, Mike, Mike Jones. Jones. You guys, um, <laughs> and it was so impenetrable. Like even though we like understood like the basic mechanics of the game. There were so many, but wait, like, wait, well, what about this condition? Mm -hmm. Well, wonder what happens, what triggers first? What about this or, or this? And, and wait, I need a reminder for this symbol. Um, and it was so bad. Like we, this was not just our personal experience, but this was so bad that Mythic Games was like, our bad. Uh, we're going to reprint wow. all the rules, like 50% of the cards, the cardboard and stuff. It was insane when I got the like the the errata pack and like replaced everything. The pile of cardboard and paper that I was recycling, game. basically just a new copy. Yeah, I mean, it was almost all of the card. I'm mean, gonna say all, but like it was at least fifty percent of the cardboard and paper components of the game had been replaced. Wow! In this errata pack, um, which ironically was the reason why I was like, you know what, good on you, Mythic Games for for trying to make things right. I'm gonna keep backing your games. Fuck burned. Yeah, burned. Um, so I, my answer to that very long answer is yes, absolutely. Like if you cannot get a game to the table, you cannot understand it. You cannot play it correctly. There's only a certain amount of patience I have for reading, rereading, going into trying to find a how to play video, uh, or even worse, like, uh, an actual play through video to try to see how people are navigating, you know, their decisions, uh, before I'm like, nope, this is just trash. It needs to go. I would give games like that a two or a three purely because it's not like, especially Paris new Eden. Like maybe it's my fault. Maybe I'm just not understanding what's going on and that's on me. There are some people that can play the game and they love it. I cannot. Are there, <laughs> we should check that rating. <laughs> it was so bad, <laughs> but like that's, that's where I would give a two or a three. I wouldn't even give that a one. So that's kind of how, I feel about it. That's fine. I, I, I'm having trouble understanding on Mars, and I'm still really excited to play it. Yeah, but so that's that's not a rule book problem. That's a you problem. Yeah. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> that's fair. But yeah. I was just right. curious. That's the end of our show. Kenzie's being me. <laughs> 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 no, like the end of the show forever. This is it. This is yeah. last, episode. last episode. Hey, Divorce. welcome to the finale. Oh no! Wow. Oh, so you can what? joke about it, but I what can't. The... All right. All I right. literally said I was going to stop joking about it. <laughs> yeah, before you made another joke about so, it. So, Dwayne, how's guys, it going, man? <laughs> place a bet, place yeah, a bet right yeah, now, yeah. over under um, six months. Played bit of culture. That was Put it fun. in the comments. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> yep. That's too mm -hmm. far. Echoes six months is too far cheap. ahead. Okay, <laughs> Kenzie says earlier. We'll Cat see. butt. That's what everybody's going to see. This is it's really fun and exciting to literally. Be a part of this. Go, go, go. It's great. Echo. Get your butt out of the camera, girl. <laughs> this is all my fault, actually. I'm sorry. Yeah, why did you put her on That's the fine. table? That's I did not. I brought her in my fine. lab. Oh, we right. just don't need her tail up. This is a vibe right here. Yeah, Echo, right? stay. Fuzzy wuzzy. Um, Wasn't right. hair. Fuzzy wuzzy had no hair. Calico. Okay. Now, oh, Calico's a great game. Mm -hmm. We just played it this morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that game. We have, we have, I think, 40 plays in it. Anyways. Um, it's probably not good. I guess kind of talking to each other and how now that we know kind of how we rate games would you trust other people's reviews specifically us also non-specifically other people's <laughs> you have a certain circle of people that you may trust maybe a leader of some kind of organization in where the leader says what they should do and without question <laughs> the members of said group Will organization does that the organization does that leader of that group ever actually give uh numerical ratings i don't think they do mm -mm, not I usually no. maybe maybe not online but oh I, have we ever asked for one like oh personally what do you no <coughs> i don't think so not that i remember maybe no. arc nova so, years ago my my biggest thing is when you, i feel like when you start to get to know a person and the games that they like and you play games together you kind of understand what they're into and what they're going to enjoy. Therefore, 
you can trust their opinion when it comes to games when they're like, oh, I really enjoyed this game because this, this, and this. And you've gamed with them, so you know. Therefore, I know that I'm very similar to what they like. Yeah. I so panic- most games like that, I'll be like, okay, yeah. Yeah. I panic bought Maracaibo during mini markets, uh, Black Big Friday sale. sale, because you guys had said good things about it. We hadn't had a chance to play it yet. And I'm like, uh, why not just put it in the cart, call it good, and we'll Which figure it out money? later. Now what that we've that? played yeah. it. Yeah, I'm glad I brought it. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> Still going to shrink, though, huh? Yeah. No. Oh. He unshrinked it. He unshrinked it. You know why? Because it. it's getting sleeved. <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. <laughs> There's a lot of cards in there to sleeve, too. Yeah. Man. Um, so you do trust people that you have spent time playing with. Yeah, I don't not know. Not just any word of mouth. If I don't know the games that they've played before, then I don't know if I would trust their opinions. Because if I don't know how they're... Like, if someone is not into worker placement games, how are you going to trust their worker placement game reviews? 100%. I think it also... like Because you don't like every worker placement game. I don't know. Well, no, but that's a starting point, right? So, like, this goes back to, like... I mean, this is really the rating system for anything on the planet. And, like... I remember being like a young person and um, like 50,000 years ago. So many, yeah. I was um, say, like, I think it was Roger and Ebert, you know, would do movie what ratings. The? Yep. Back and when would, names were just noises. <laughs> 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 Roger <What>? Meat Merce. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, they would give like one, one, you know, like one of them would give a thumbs up, but both of them would give them thumbs up or, or neither, right? And like you might over time realize that like I agree with this person but not the other one so like if Roger doesn't like it I may not give a shit because I don't like Roger's opinions mm-hmm. um so I think that's I think that's true and so I like I I have at least one person a content creator who I think I gravitate towards their stuff but like I've also now I think uh especially both uh you know Sub and Ken's I mean I, I think based on collections and whatnot um, do I am still a little leery? <laughs> can't uh, can't guarantee that everything you bring to the table is going to bring me uh, bring me joy, dude. But, but I'll uh, tell you what, <laughs> but you I, brought Zoo King, and for me that was a banger, dude. But there has also been plenty of times where you, we've played a game and I've immediately gone out and bought it. So you know, I will say you yes. taught me a lot of the games I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> Not now that I don't like, but that one? I don't need. Now who's the mean one? No, because it is, he has them. We could play them with him. And you, I mean, you saw it in the top fives. The games that I play are vastly different from the games that you three play. And I can understand if y'all didn't know either what to recommend me. I, I mean, maybe I don't know what I would recommend y'all. But because I bring so much odd shit it's like games you've never heard of and muffin time i also have a very i i'm very i have a very type of game animals (laughs) is it colorful is it kind of stupid fucking just toy factor shit moving stuff around i have a very type of game is every game gonna hit no we should make him play factory funner (laughs) Factory Fun is a good one, though. I like it. Mm-hmm. So. It is nothing that you just described. <laughs> oh, you don't think so? Nothing. It's color. It, it's color. Oh. All black and white. <laughs> there are four colors in the game. Do you like? <laughs> tell me how you feel about Go. What is that? Or That's Othello. the little abstract game. Go? No, Go is the ancient Chinese game where you're playing black and white stones on oh, the board. Yeah, it's abstract. Go, Go and chess, like... um. I mean, I'm not a good Go or chess player. I suck at so chess, like, but I like it. Um, if someone wants to play it, I know how to play it. I'll play it. Am I going to lose? Probably. I don't care. I had fun. <laughs> but if you're at a place for your board games, though, will you ever, even if someone asks you, hey, you want to play chess? You're going to be like, no? Yeah. <laughs> Do you not see all these other games? I'll, I play chess online, just a three-minute bullet chess mm-hmm. as a pastime. You know, I'll Sorry. never play in person unless... That person specifically will not play other games. You know, like my dad will play chess because he's not going to play any of these, you know? 
They do competitions sometimes, when his dad comes in town. Yeah, sometimes Derek heads hurt too much. We play chess because it's kind of, you know, relaxing. And I mean, yes. you you got the taste of kind of it. Like when we were playing a game, games every week. And <laughs> the two games that I got because of you, Kites and Power Plants. Granted, Kites is a cooperative game. But it's like short, fast, and chaotic. So it's like, okay, I'm down for that. It's fun. Kites is chaos. Also, power plants, like fantasy, colorful, stuff on the stuff I can move around, touch, (laughs) components, nice. But like brass. Don't. Nope. I will not. I'll kick you out. Artistically. I liked brass. I liked brass. Am I ever going to buy brass? No. Would I have ever played brass if it wasn't for y'all? No. And Enrique just t- like ripping you into the, the game. <laughs> saying, hey, sit down. Play I this. mean, we were going to play no matter what that day. Not nice. brass, but we were going to play something. So just mm-hmm. got signed to that fuck up. That one fateful day. Isn't like I crazy? said, Aww, now here we are. I so will cute. play anything. Um, but yeah, I have a very type of game. Okay. Um, so if I had bought you for a Christmas present, the game <laughs> Union Stockyards, you probably would have been like, thanks. An avocado. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just you were at Black Potion. I give it to you. You're just like, thanks. Turn around, put it right back on. <laughs> put it on his library. Show. I have a donation for you. Yeah, I have a donation. Here you go. Okay. That's good to know. That's good to know. So I can do most of my Game shopping at Target for you then. Probably. All the fun family games. <laughs> I feel like that was supposed to be mean, but it's like not mean. It's not mean. Mm. The only thing I would never buy you, because I, I respect you too much, Cards Against Humanity. Don't ever buy me that shit. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to get the bigger blacker card? No. <laughs> you can only play a card that says dick so many times before it's not funny anymore. Yeah. I know they ruined the joke. Like penis jokes used to be so funny, and it's like now everyone's like, Oh, I did this joke in Cards Against Humanity. Show your grandma your penis. <laughs> oh my god! You know it's not wrong though. You know who plays Cards Against Humanity? Fucking high school, college, popular kids Aww. who I would never fucking joke around, and I would never hang around. And yeah, because do we need, to, not- un- do we need to unpack some shit? <laughs> he's on it's his, coming he's out. He's on his anime villain arc. <laughs> No, uh, all I'm is this saying is a bad is time to tell you I was in a fret. People oh who my card- god, of Kevin, course I'm not you were. I'm so sorry to interrupt. People who play you. Cards Against Humanity are not funny. Of course. Not funny people. Probably not fun people either to hang around. Don't hang around people who play Cards Against Humanity. Yeah, and if you and play then- Cards Against Humanity, unsubscribe. Stop. You're valid. <laughs> I know. Stop. stop, stop. Yeah, no, stay subscribed. Um, <laughs> it's just one of those things where if you'll play that game simply and like you'll play it over and over and over again every time you drink just because haha edgy funny but you won't give like there's some other really good party games that are not crazy Monikers. To learn, just one people just don't give a chance because they're like i don't want to learn dude was monikers the one that we played is that the one with the, the three the three yeah that one was a lot of fun yep. i love it yep yeah it's and a little boring. I got to pretend to be a Roomba. Card. It's just structured charades. <laughs> I did burpees at 36 weeks pregnant. Oh wow! Oh wow! I you was were committed. committed. <laughs> which, which which child is that? And which, what does this explain? It was Our Tata. angry one. Oh, okay, that explains it. Oh. Something. I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> she's cute. Let's check in in like 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 12 years and see where she's doing oh, about my mentally. Girl. All right. So that's kind of all we have for today. I'm just kidding. We could talk forever because I, you guys are so cool. Best friends. Okay, next. Aww. Best friends ever. This is weird. What's the next Come one? On. BGG stuff. You guys go ahead. So obviously, I think probably most people are familiar with uh, Board Game Geek uh, as a as a forum. As a, it's kind of like the cornerstone or foundation of like you know where to go for information on games, forums, reviews, posts, videos, um, how player count you know, explaining games, photos, all that kind of stuff. Um, one of the biggest things, of course, is the the rating system. Um, and they do have a bit of a funny way that things are rated. Um, 
because like they get or your ranking versus waiting because um, the ratings will get impacted by having more of them. Um, but does board game geeks like the review, whatever again, out of ten, does that affect your uh, your approach to a game that you haven't played before at all? I if look, so, how? I look more at BGG's um, complexity scale than I do at its rating. Yeah, I think that's fair. Because I think most games, honestly, as long as it's not like literal trash, sevens. You know, it, I feel like it's very hard for a game to be rated at six and like be on a shelf at a game store. I don't know. Maybe it's me, but I, I agree with that. Complexity. Yeah. Look at the complexity. And I can kind say of like, anytime I've ever looked up a game and I see the BGG score, it's between a seven and an eight. Yeah. And if like it's, it's like, rarely under yeah. a seven and over an eight. It's literally in between. I've seen some sixes that, of games that I've enjoyed. If it's over an eight, I'll get excited for it. If it's between seven and eight, it's like, cool, ignore that. It's such a crapshoot on whether you specifically will like it or not. Hmm. Yeah, I think eight, like when it's a, above an eight, right? I think that's where it's definitely, especially if it has a lot of, uh, like more than, you know, a couple thousand. Uh, ratings is when you really start to pay attention to it. If it's got less than that for ratings, then it's like whatever. It's also you have to be like aware of like during campaigns, kick, Kickstarter campaigns or crowdfunding campaigns. Sometimes I hate that, dude. I yeah, that. like uh, I'll never forget. It was um, I've done this I think two or three times where there have been campaigns where like, hey, go and leave a rating on BGG. Uh, and if we get this rating or whatever, we'll unlock this thing. Ooh. And I'm yeah, like, ratings is like stretch goals. That's even that's worse. That's weird. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it was. Um, I've always hated that. Dude. I'm trying to. You know, I don't want to mischaracterize it if it's not 100 percent accurate. But I remember it. Would, no, that's right. You just had to leave a rating. That's right. It, they didn't ask for a specific type of rating, but it was Hogs of War by Stone Sword Games. And I just went in and Hogs I was like, Hogs of War. Hogs of War. It's based on a video game. Um, it's a, I think it's primarily a two player, um, miniatures, uh, Skirmisher. tactical skirmish game. Um, but, uh, like I, I just came in and I just gave it a five. I'm like, and I literally in my comments said like, I'm rating this game and I'm only rating this game because it's a part of the Kickstarter mm -hmm. thing. Like a lot of other people here. And if the game holds up, then I'll, I'll fix, fix the it. rating. Um, so you know how many times though, like you go to those reviews and you just see like a crowdfunded one. Because I'll look them up on BGG too and just to like see what it's about, whatever, whatever, because I don't want to go through the entire campaign, see all the ratings. And I, I've clicked through there sometimes and it's just like no comments, just 10, 10, 10, 10, and it'll say 10 rating for the stretch goal, 10, um, you know, whatever, right? And it's like I get that these people are doing it because they want something. I feel like it's more on the publishers. That's kind of weird to be asking for people to be rating your game. <laughs> For, for possibly, you're asking possibly thousands of people specifically, everyone that's, that wants to get your game, that, you're, that they're giving you money to get the game, to be like, oh, I've never played it, but 10, because I want to boost it, because maybe they'll do something else, you know? It does artificially inflate it. I don't know. Yeah. It's I wish I could pull it up right now. BGG happens to be under construction. Oh, that's right. I forgot about <laughs> they're that. They're updating right now. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to do the same thing. I was going to look for some games that I think might be below like a 7.57. 7. Um, I'm curious about some of the games that I know like might not be as received as well by others that I still may enjoy uh, or just may not be as popular. But, I, yeah. you know, it's a, it's for me, it's at least a litmus test, right? Especially if it's a game that's like Kickstarters and stuff, crowdfunding, any of that stuff, it's worthless. I don't, I mean, unless it's a game that had been, a, that uh, like it's a reprint, or an expansion to or something like that, then it might inform my decision. But it's more along the lines of, again, like, um, like oh, for instance, um, during that same panic buy for the, the, the <laughs> sale, it was um, Great Western Trail, but they only had on sale the Argentina one. So I was like, okay, where does Argentina stack up against second edition versus New Zealand? And, you know, going in there, looking at the rating, the rating checks out and then reading like a quick review of like, what's the difference between the three and being like, all right, if I can only own one, this one seems fine. Good. 
That's why we've yeah. kept our old one. We have rails to the north, and I don't really want to deal with like yep. picking a, a different one. Even though I'm pretty sure they picking have wrong. a second edition rails to the north as well. It just they do. Yeah. Why? I don't know. It's our copies beat up. Things. Honestly, our copy is so beat up at this point. We've played it so many times. <laughs> like, if we're getting rid of that copy, it's because we're just done with Great Western Trail. And not for, like, oh, like, we don't like the game anymore. Just, like, it's 2042 and it's time to move on. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a hard That's such a hard place. I guess it's because I, ha- I don't get to play up until recently. been able to play as much as, as y'all. But, like, it's a hard place to see. Like getting rid of a game that you like. Yeah. Bless you. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them. Yeah. That's a freaking grandpa sneeze. No, <laughs> I I don't know. BGG for me, like reviews on there, that's from a lot of people that don't know you. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I think I'm just very much so a, a personal reviewer. Yeah. Like, it's, it's an average. It's an average from the community that you don't necessarily know what it's based in. It's only until you get into the tens of thousands of reviews that you might be able to be like, well, okay, and we might be onto something. Some so. of these are probably genuine. Yeah. But you you alluded to the idea, and we kind of talked, we kind of danced around it a little bit already. But you know, are there individuals out there, you know, that you're either comfortable with naming or not, who are people who are content creators in the space, who when they rate a game well, you're like, I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, just based on that recommendation alone or that and maybe some some light investigation uh, or vice versa if they're like, hey, this game really wasn't for me. I'm not into this. Stay away from it. I think that for me, the only like content creators is really like um, Thinker Themer. It, but it's weird though because I know that there's a certain type of game that if they really like it, I probably won't like it. So I know like Nah, not for me. It's um, that's kind of my my biggest like influence from them is if they really like a game, I I probably won't like it. That's an interesting approach. Yeah. My um my cult leader, my Carly, um, with her most games when it comes to like bigger beefier games, I know that if she likes it, I'm most likely going to like it. When it comes to the games that she does not like, rolling rights, deck builders. Not really her thing. I very much so enjoy deck builders. So I will, if it's got other aspects of the game that I know I'll enjoy, then I'll most likely just pick it up and play it. But other than that, like beefier, bigger games that she's playing, that she enjoys, sure. I will play them. I will buy them just because you said that I should buy them. I also want to add on to the Thinker Themer thing. Um... It's not just like, a oh, I don't like the games that they like. And that's like the only thing I have a value from them. The way that they talk and review about, like the way they talk about their games, the way they review them, because they do their like top whatever videos. Immaculate. But they go into detail about why they're giving it a yeah. very granular rating. And I like the things that they talk about when they're explaining why they do or do not like a game. And that's kind of how I, I think of games the same way that they do. So I'm like, okay, they are definitely in the same realm of how they in, intake the information from a game. They just like different ones than I like. They're why you know? I got Race to the Raft. They're why I backed it. I originally was not going to, even though it's in. So Isle of Cats is probably is, is up there for games that I love and are in my heart. Um, and Race to the Raft is in the same universe as Isle of Cats. But it was like, it's co-op not really interested like nah and then they did a playthrough of it and i was like okay so this is a co-op game that i would enjoy playing with other people but this is something that i could stomach with someone that wants to play a co-op game as well um so we backed it yes it had a little bit to do with the fact that it was isle of cats because just the universe of isle of cats fomo i have to have them all um but i like it we played a few games of it so far and it wasn't bad it was good it's and for me, it's a co-op game. Not my favorite. I know we're, we're just talking back and forth. The last thing <laughs> I'll say about it. Um, it's a co-op. Not my favorite thing. But it is quick. It's it's a simple game also. But it's quick enough and so easy to play that the satisfaction I get 
if we win a round, it's cool and good and enough. If we lose a round, we spent four minutes doing yep. it. We reset, can go again, or can put it away. Mm-hmm. So for the time investment, it's it's like a weird weight of, because I have to put so little time into it, the enjoyment I do get matters more. What about you? Um, I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't listen to people. I don't care what... There's not a creator that I care about their opinion. Um, There's not a review that I'll read. Fuck them all. Hmm. What I've devolved to is I'll go to a video on the game and I'll go straight to the comments. And I'll see... um, I had a blast with this game. We played with my family. It was so much fun. This game's great. Me and my friends love it. I don't know what this guy's talking about. This game's awesome. And if the comments are more the, positive, if the positive overweighs yeah. the negative, I'll give the game a shot. Um, that also just goes back to like, did people have fun with it? Cool. I don't really care about like, I don't care about a number. I don't care what this person says. Cool. You you might have not liked it. I liked it. Seas of Havoc. I've put off Seas of Havoc for so long because I've listened to people say, eh, this isn't for me. This game's okay. And then I was just like, you know what? I'm going to look at it. I'm going to get it. Damn, this game's fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Um. So, yeah, like reviews and, and scores... I don't care. I don't care about it. Did people have fun with it? I'll probably have fun with it then. Yeah. Fucking elitists. <laughs> nice. All right. All right. Uh, for me, I've mentioned it before, uh, Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. Mm-hmm. Um, his ratings, more often than not, are a pretty good indicator for me. And he uses a he uses a five point scale, so four point five, four, three point five, and if he rates a game at a four or above, um, for me, that's usually like, okay, cool. Um, especially because he's also, you know, the difference is that he's getting access to crowdfunding content that other, you know, content creators aren't necessarily getting. Um, so because I trust him, because his his opinions tend to align with uh, mine and vice versa, um, when he's able to provide a review for a crowdfunding game, that's incredibly valuable to me because that will help inform my opinion of whether or not I should back the game or not. So, hmm. Someone that you relate to. Yep. It's not always right, though. There are definitely times where, mm-hmm. you know, there's differences, but there's other things, too, where, again, like, I don't think, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think he likes rolling rights, <laughs> which I don't care for either. So... Um, Kenzie has a little sweet spot for them. I do. There are there are a few that I really enjoy. Wild opinion from your video the other day that we weren't in that uh, f- um, the Fox experiment is just a big roll and write. Do you and think it's like, a wild opinion? I think that I think that I. I mean, it was wild because I was like, I'd never considered that before, and then I was like, Yeah, it kind of <laughs> makes sense. It's a big old roll and write. I'm like, oh man, it might actually be like it's obviously meteor, but I think it's all the extra meaty components and stuff that make it different. You know, it's not just a. You could compress that game to a few sheets of paper. Mm. Like per player. I'm, I'm You're not, hurting I'm, Kevin's I'm heart right now, it. baby. Stop. I'm a smaller board it. and a few sheets of paper. And you I'm can not going to admit it. I refuse. You ever played Three Sisters? <laughs> Mm-mm. It's a really, it's a really right role, played right. across two pages. Um, one side is your garden. One side is like your tool shed. But I never thought that a roll and write could, could, be just, needy. could just have a second page to make it the game bigger, you know? I'm like, they, these are all just one page big, right? <laughs> two pages. I'm writing on two pages in the same game. <laughs> this is not a variant. It's a double the game. Yeah. That's Twilight a good one, though. I really enjoy that one. Reese's is a good game. We have that, yeah. too. Which one? Twilight, Twilight Inscription. Inscription. Yep. I really want to play. We four. just got Motor City. Seems like a little more meaty, but that's kind of, honestly, Motor City, I want to play that with you once, just so you can... Because that kind of reminds me of Fox Experiment, but smaller. Yeah, I mean, like Dwayne, I'll try any game at least one time. I don't think there's a game out there 
that I haven't played that I would look at and be like, I'm just re- absolutely objectively refuse. I don't think there's a single one. <laughs> oh, I won't. There's this game called Wonderland's War. I do not want to play <laughs> Shut that up. game. Ever. You're such a liar. We were talking about playing it earlier. Get out of here. Also, you don't have a choice. You don't. don't That's true. No, it's coming. I do, uh, you're I welcome. Once and I like it. <laughs> I'm not going to say except you're welcome. <laughs> you guys have any closing remarks? That's about all I got to say about that. Have fun. That's true. Fucking play your games for fun. It's really funny yes. that you say that because a lot of times I feel like people don't even really go there. Like it's, I don't know, especially with strategy games. Mm. It's like, I have to win. I have to have the best strategy. And it's less of like, oh, did you enjoy yourself while you were playing this strategy game? Yeah, their enjoyment relies on like, if they did I win or not? Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, that's I had so that, whack. That was my problem in the beginning. If I didn't win, I was like salty about a game, you know? I'm trying to be better about it lately and just in, for, you know, years lately. Um, sometimes it sneaks through where... Today? Today, <laughs> we were playing Green Lake and I was ahead by like 30 points, man. And then the, uh, like the last round plus end game just was not Ken's unexpected. Can't beat you an end game? Wow, surprise. Not, not unexpected, but... Her last turn was so immense, plus the end game scoring. She got it to me, beat me by like 20 points. Mm. No, it wasn't. Yeah. I'll, I'll look at the scores here in a bit, but it doesn't matter. But I try to be less salty about like, if I'm just feeling like I'm not doing good, like I was earlier and not earlier, but the day before Cyclopedia, I'm just enjoying playing the game, doing my own thing. If I win, cool. If I don't, I still got to do all the things that I want to do. And honestly, it's a little less stressful when you don't worry about, I have to min max and do everything right and win. Cause then you're like not sacrificing the things you want to do to try and win. Yeah. I, um, for me that, that comes out with certain individuals. I, for most people, I've gotten to a point where I think I can just enjoy a game, play it. And if I lose, still have a good time and it's not a problem. There are for some reason like one or two people out there in the world who what for whatever reason like I just have to beat them, and if I don't beat them, I get I get frustrated. Uh, and it's none of you guys, so don't even worry about it. It's uh, it's a person. I know from, it's not me. I hardly win in this. Yeah. House. but um, you know, I will. I will. I think Dwayne's point is pretty good. We were talking about um, this earlier before the cast, like I, you know, the board board game community is great and all, but we do have some pretty mean people <laughs> <laughs> and like talking about bgg like their facebook page like the number of, of posts somebody will be like i like this game and people will literally come out of the woodwork to just shit all over it and it's like but why yeah but why how about you play like, a real the, game like 18xx and, and friends i mean like I shit don't know. dude it's a game <laughs> it's a board game no some people just want to play optimize the spreadsheet it's so annoying like honestly i know a person uh i won't name them it's none of y'all it's nobody it's no it's none it's of you watching in, it's nobody in my friend group I do know a person though. I like how you included Echo in that. Wave. Who plays <laughs> who plays games like brass and and games of that like weight and type. And if they see anything that's like it, muffin time. They get perfect they get example. elitist about They're going to be like this game's fucking stupid. And like they will say that and it's just like that's you're lame, kind of. <laughs> you're kind of whack, straight bro. Straight up yucking someone's yum. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, and I know, I know, Muffin Times. I know Muffin Times not a great, not the greatest game of all time. I know that. I know that. But I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm competitive. I. Kenzie that's does, just what it Kenzie boils. Does that's just what it boils down to for me. Like, I just. I'm coming. I'm playing with my friends. That's all I want. Like, am I? I could be stone faced, but I'll have fun though. I'm having fun. Kenzie like hates it. losing, but it's a good thing she barely loses. <laughs> I'm getting better. I'm not as bad as I used to be. I used to like 
get really upset. But I, I realize that I'm very bad about, and I know we've talked about this before. Kev, don't look at me like that. I, if I'm not doing good, even though I might be doing good, like in my head, if I'm not doing good, it just immediately pisses me off. I'm like, this is the worst game ever. This is, I'm not going to win. Like, this is so bad. Oh, look, and she then won. Win. And then she'll win the immensely yeah. at the end. And everyone, <laughs> for two hours, she had spent, what are you guys talking about? I'm doing, this is, this sucks. Nothing is working out for me. I hate this game. Meanwhile, she's 50 points in the lead of all of well, us. Well, no, it's like, not usually when I'm in like, the lead. Doing pretty good. Usually it's when I'm behind <laughs> a few points. Look, all I know is that for our next battle of the games, I'm going to pick games exclusively that have no end game scoring. Hmm. Where there's an end, like there's a... So you're going to pick Viticulture. A win condition, <laughs> basically. There's a win condition. If you get there, you win. win. That's it. No extra points. Ooh. No bonuses. No That's nothing. TI. Just boom. Done. Eldorado. Yeah. You just get to the end first. You win. Interesting. Okay. We're going. You just want me to muffin die. Muffin time, mask men, skull king, all that. Just five and trick. Just do five trick nice. taking games. <laughs> Bye. I'll give skull king a six for anyone who cares. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Um, go and follow us on Instagram if you want to see some more content. We usually mostly post on our story. So you yeah. do kind of doesn't to, know how to post. You do kind of have to follow to see that stuff. But anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching, you guys. <laughs> see you next I time. I have been Sibo. Kevin. D Money. And Kenzie. Goodbye. Beep, Bye. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 boop.